Hey everybody, this is Brody Joe, and today I am smoking my brand new Peterson Tyrone uh, Bent Billiard uh, 230 that just arrived yesterday, and I'm loving it, and uh, so uh, y'all had to check that out, and, uh, and actually today I'm beginning uh, my first of three reviews on the... Uh, wonderful uh, blends that I won in David's St. David's Pipes giveaway last week and I was so extremely thrilled because I've never won anything in my life and uh, that's a long time and so uh, uh, I figured I would start uh, this uh, three-part review uh, with uh, a, a, a pipe tobacco that uh, I think is long overdue for me to uh, check out and that would be M4 original blend and uh, in fact it's been over 40 years overdue so it's time today's the day <laughs> after 40 something years but uh yeah in text yesterday with Dave he was we were discussing M4 and he asked me he says how how is it that you never tried out M4 uh, even way back in the day and so actually uh, all of you younger guys, you have to realize that uh, up until uh, around 2000, you know, the internet was just just a dream. You know, you know we didn't have any access to that back in the, the days prior to the internet to uh, really check out different blends so much. Uh, when I started smoking a pipe, I mean, you know, we, we didn't have a local pipe club. Uh, I lived in a small town and... and uh, a rural area and so there were no pipe clubs and uh, there was a, a tender box but it was about an hour away in Mobile and so I rarely got over there and uh, so uh, virtually all pipe smokers back then we had very limited uh, exposure to a lot of different blends and uh, we were pretty much uh, kind of uh, stuck with with the blends that were available at the drugstore, you know, and so the old codger blends like uh, Carter Hall, uh, Half and Half, uh, all those uh, are considered codger blends, and uh, and drugstore uh, blends just like the the uh, K Woodies and and uh, the Dr. Graybo pipes. Are still kind of referred to often as uh, drugstore pipes because uh, back in the old days, back in the 70s and 80s, they still had these massive uh, racks, displays of pipes for sale in drugstores. And uh, some of you probably never even seen anything like that. And, and it'd be hard to imagine, but that's the way it was back in those days. And they had a wide blend of, uh, I mean, a wide mix of different blends. And uh, so there were so many to choose from. And uh, back in those days, it was a different mindset because I think most pipe smokers, or, or, or a lot of them, at least the ones, I knew many pipe smokers back in the day, they were everywhere. And most of us, we'd pick one blend, we'd try a few right off the bat, pick one, and pretty much stay with it for life. You know, our decades. Uh, it was a lot of uh, uh, extreme... Uh, brand loyalty back in those days unlike today where where I see all you guys trying different blends every day or every few days or every week which is wonderful you know uh, it's not a put down it's fantastic but it wasn't even a dream for us back then because it just didn't exist until the internet and uh, then too back then uh, we didn't have any access to uh, video reviews, you know, uh, like I say, unless you had had a pipe club uh, to go to, you just, you didn't hear many reviews of pipes uh, and pipe tobaccos. You just didn't, it just wasn't a thing. So you had to find out for yourself. And uh, so anyway, uh, I tried a couple of blends and stuck with them for quite a while, like Carter Hall and Half and Half. And uh, so I just never got around to trying out for I don't know what it was. And uh, a lot of times back then, the only uh, experience you had with with the idea of trying to blend was an advertisement in, in magazines. 
And so uh, maybe it was just their advertising just didn't quite appeal to me. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I, this is my very first time trying out M4 after all these years. And I uh, have to say right off the bat, I'm loving it. Uh, I uh, didn't save it for today. I, I started smoking it last night just to try it out, get my impressions, just kind of let it all soak in. And, and it is a fantastic blend. Just, you know, as soon as you open the pouch, okay, there, there's a little uh, notation here that says, says, real pleasure just moments away. And that's a, a brilliant uh, introduction to this tobacco. It really is. And, man, uh, just smelling it in the pouch. I mean, it just, it's awesome. Uh, a very strong but very fragrant haze uh, aroma. And, uh so I grew up on uh, 40 acres, and we had 20 head of Angus cows, uh, more for the enjoyment of them than anything else. And uh, so uh, we had built our own barn uh, and had hay stacked in it, you know, for the winter. And uh, so you just walk in, and it smells so good. It just brings back so many memories, just smelling, smelling the hay element of this. And uh, then, too, the... Uh, uh, ground feed that we fed the cows uh, was corn ground up with uh, molasses and I, I pick up a lot of that in this too it just smells so good and brings back those good old memories like uh, my 16th birthday uh, back in 1968 uh, mom decided well you know let's have your birthday party in the barn you're a teenager and have a teenage party in the barn on that night and uh, of course back in those days we we teenagers we were so different from now. We were very innocent. Uh, none of us drank. Certainly nobody took drugs. And, and uh, it was a simpler time. And so we just we uh, uh, sat around the barn and we danced and stuff like that to uh, the big hits of the, the day, like the Doors and Jefferson Airplane and the Monkeys and, and so many others. I mean, the Mamas and the Papas, all that stuff back in those days. But anyway, just opening this pouch brings back wonderful memories. So, hey, uh, it's, it's off to a great start. And uh, one of the elements that I found with this blend is uh, it really invokes the memories of uh, pipe smokers back in the day when I was young. And, and uh, you know, it just uh, it's a over it's a powerful appeal to it that it just envelops you. And its identity, uh, so to speak, it just, it has a, uh, it's mild, and it's kind of like a mild version of half and half to me, and the aroma is just heavenly, really. And, uh, man, it's, it, it, like I say, it's so very mild, and uh, it, it kind of has that element of a, uh, fall day uh, burning leaves stuff like that which I love the aroma of and uh, it's very very mild uh, I, I, I can't speak too much to the taste it's good but you got to realize after over 40 years of pipe smoking my my palate is is uh, pretty much shot <laughs> I can taste uh, food but uh, as far as my pipe smoking and everything you know it, it's all good but uh, it, it it, nothing really kicks in terribly with me, but um, it's very, very pleasant, very uh, wonderful uh, in so many ways, and it burns easy, and it burns down to a, a very small white ash in the bottom, which I love, but it, it truly just reminds me of those days when uh, a guy uh, would pick out a pipe blend and kind of stick with it always, and it was like their signature, one of their signatures it was part of their personality and it was just part of their identity and when say like if one was off away on business or whatever and um, their wife could just pick up that that shirt that had his uh, the aroma of his pipe smoke on it and she could just feel so close to him and uh, you could walk in their houses and uh, once they've been smoking the same blend for for decades 
and you'd always see the same, uh, say, uh, half and half or whatever, uh, Big Ten uh, sitting there by the pack pipe rack, and you, you know, it just never changed. It was never a new blend when you walk in. It was just, it was consistent. There was a, just a consistency to it because they apparently loved all their original choices and stuck with them, didn't vary, you know, even when they could. But, uh, so I kind of grew up in that kind of environment, you know, and, and sticking with one blend from one for quite a while. I, uh, back in the 80s to 90s, I, I smoked Captain Black Royal Blue uh, for 20 years, at least 20 years straight. So uh, it was only really when I got more active on YouTube and, and the YTPC just this year that uh, I was kind of encouraged to step out a little bit, venturing into buying pipes online. To me, a lot of times buying a pipe online is about like trying to buy shoes online. I, you know, I don't know. I have to hold it in my hand. I have to know it fits, you know, stuff like that. And I made a mistake or two this year uh, with pipes. They were a lot bigger than I thought they were in the picture and stuff like that. But then I learned to really read all the... the uh, uh, dimensions on it stuff like that and make wiser choices like this one I mean it's just perfect for me it's not overpowering but uh, anyway uh, so uh, my buddy Josh of the Peace Pipe channel he's the one that kind of encouraged me to to try out uh, uh, a few new blends and stuff like that and he sent me some uh, uh, McBaron Golden Blend or Golden Extra whichever way you prefer to say it and uh Anyway, so it's, it's, it's interesting, and uh, I'm just so thrilled to uh, be the winner of this uh, giveaway so that I can try three different blends, and like I say, I'm loving this Amphora, and uh, so uh, I can't thank Dave enough for being so thoughtful and generous to have held this uh, giveaway, and a chance for a lot of us to uh, share a lot of our Thanksgiving memories, which is, you know, it's just very, very cool in itself. So, uh, I'm loving it, and, uh, you know, I just, uh, I'm not much of a reviewer. I just, you know, if I love a tobacco, I, I, I say, and it has a wonderful room note, and uh, it smokes easy, and uh, it's extremely pleasant, and it, it tastes good for what I can really tell, you know? Uh, I, perhaps I should clean, cleanse my palate before I fire it up, you know, like with uh, uh, lime sherbet or something like they do in some restaurants. But, uh, you know, I love it. I'm happy with it, extremely happy to uh, have finally tried it after all these long, long decades. <laughs> so now if anybody asks me about, have you ever tried it before, I say, shoot, yeah, it's good stuff. So, because uh, this truly is wonderful. So, uh I appreciate y'all hanging with me and checking me out, and uh, uh, my pleasure is all mine, believe me. And uh, y'all probably say, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> but anyway, God bless you all. Uh, enjoy your pipes. Have a wonderful day. And until I do my next review, which will be the next day or two, take care. Bye.